sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it says live on Facebook here. So yay, okay. good morning. Okay, good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm just Facebook land. <laughs> Facebook land. Here we are, Feng Shui Friday, learning to use the F word. And of course, you know, we always pull a card from the personal paradise deck from Tara Catherine Collins. Yay, Tara. Hi. Yay. Yeah. And you know what? If you haven't had a chance yet, check out our YouTube channel because we yeah. had an incredible conversation it's so with our mentor, teacher, friend, Tara Catherine Collins. And it's posted on our YouTube channel, which is, and, which is f dot l dot a dot w dot c which means join our flock yeah. and what was what was the definition tara came up with for that oh flowing love activating whirling chi flowing love and whirling chi oh, but i like the yes. activating very mm -hmm. cool <laughs> yeah so, you know, an what? acronym you might... can be used many ways. Oh, that, you know, we've already discovered five or six different. Yeah. So that we so might what? have to have a con. We might have to have a con. I was just going to say. Yeah. What does everybody think flock stands for? Or what is yeah. your version of flock? Not yeah, seagulls. <laughs> yeah. And joining our flock is, you know, joining our flock. Um, I'm typing it in so everybody can see. Cool. And I'm still okay. shuffling. Nothing's fallen out okay. of the deck yet. But you know what? Nothing. I forgot to set the intention to have oh. one topic come out for us. One more in this new moon solar eclipse energy. Oh, Everybody's crazy. feeling that. Crazy <laughs> energy. Oh, did you one, see that? One popped out. <laughs> Jumped. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. okay. And you know what's funny? It's the same one we did last week. Okay. Well, then we have to get a different one. It's windows and doors. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it's relevant to my house. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is relevant to your house. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Hey, <laughs> well, that's where my energy's at. So uh, that's uh, all good. All right. You, I was going to say, do you want me to pull a card? Sure. Let's see. Well, you shuffle too, and we'll see who gets one first. Okay. Hmm. In the meantime, everybody gets to watch us, you know, shuffle and <laughs> be silent and enjoy know. the sun. Oh, one flew out. Let's oh, see. you got one. Perfect. Um, okay. Well, uh, it says knowledge and self cultivation. Oh, cool. Oh, that's part of the Bagua. It is part of the Bagua. And so, yeah, maybe we'll just talk about the Bagua. Well, I think we oh, need to talk it's about card, it's card number 53. Oh, an eight. Nice. nice. Yeah, we'll take it. Nice, nice. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> it took us. It chose yeah. us. Yeah, it chose us. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Cool. Okay, so so the Bagua, in case uh, some of you are just joining us for the first time or listening to this recording in the future. Uh, the Bagua is a powerful tool that we use as feng shui practitioners mm -hmm. to map the meridians of our holistic uh, energetic home. And the Bagua, the word itself, uh, comes from or means trigram. And if you've ever heard about the book, the I Ching or I Ching, um, it's it's called the book of divination or the book of changes. And um, so it represents nine aspects of our personal life and uh, to create balance and harmony in our life, we need all nine of these aspects present and um, in balance in and balance. harmony. Mm -hmm. And so then we extend that out into our home environment. So the knowledge and self cultivation area of our home, because we actually use the Bagua in what's called a non-directional approach, mm -hmm. 
And so if you're walking into your home, into your doorway, um, um, or if you were to map the bird's eye view of your home, the knowledge and self-development area would be to the left. Okay, so it's the area to the left. And so I'm showing it on great, the map. Yeah, so it's a great area. Uh, you know, I love this actually, because it's very timely in of that, course. Um, you know, we have the new moon and we're starting, um, you know, again, a new cycle. So it's an opportunity to increase our knowledge because we've all heard the saying knowledge is power, right? Yes. Uh, perhaps you're working on, you know, a new program, or maybe you want to take one of our programs, uh, <laughs> You know, then we can activate that flowing chi mm -hmm. in our home environment in the knowledge and self-development area. And right? you know what I find fascinating, Anita, is in a lot of homes that are built today with the attached garage, mm -hmm. quite often the garage is on the right-hand side of the house, right-hand side of the, the structure. Yes. And the knowledge and self-cultivation is often not oh, fully supported right. or anchored. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, which is quite interesting because we can, there is so much knowledge at our fingertips. Oh. That it almost is to a point of overwhelm. So we don't, right? We don't progress forward. I can remember um, taking a Bob Proctor program, a coaching program years ago with him. And I I'm, don't quote me on the exact numbers, but if we spent one hour a day, so mm -hmm. say your evening before you go to bed or whatever, instead of watching the news or whatever, reading your favorite topic, one mm -hmm. hour, yeah, within a year, you will be an expert on that topic. Yeah. That's 365 hours on one topic. And mm -hmm. even if you didn't do it every night, imagine mm -hmm. your knowledge base and when I first started with feng shui, that was what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Pick up a book, one hour. I can I can dedicate an hour. It's yeah. relaxed time. And when you're learning just before you go to bed, that information your subconscious is taking, mm -hmm. it's holding it, it's using it, it's magnifying it. Well, and you know, there's so many ways that we can gain information uh, with the, a podcast, you know, mm -hmm. there's lots of YouTube channels. There's lots of ways, like you say, that we can gain that information. Yeah. But what's interesting too about the knowledge and self-development area is that uh, we also attach a, an element, you know, one mm -hmm. of the five elements. And so the element of wood is attached to that area. And so again, when we look at nature and we look what mother nature does. I mean, the, the oak tree just doesn't grow, you know, to 50 years old and say, okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm done growing. I'm just going to be here. Just, <laughs> you know, stand here and be beautiful. No, the tree is continually Evolving. growing and expanding and expanding. And so too, is that that's our natural uh, flow. That's our natural state that we should too be mirroring the oak tree. Mm -hmm. And we should also be continually growing and expanding. And so that's, you know, part of that is our knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because if, you know, as soon as we stop, then, um, <laughs> you know, things can become stagnant very quickly. Uh, and it's exciting to learn new things. I mean, you and I've learned a oh. whole lot of new things in the last year. Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> Even this week. <laughs> some of them not by choice. Uh, you know, uh, some of them we've had to learn by necessity, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but Whatever you know, at the end, when you look back, you go, hey, that's cool. There's yeah. another little piece in my little toolbox, that's right? That's right. right. There's another little chapter in my book. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we I, you know, I love that we have the number five and three today, because again, you know, five represents change and three is the catalyst. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have been considering taking a course or learning something new, um, and again, I think too, a lot of the things that have happened in the world in the last 18 months or so, 
some some of us are ready for a change mm -hmm. and maybe we need to take that next step in uh cultivating you know our own mm -hmm. person to yeah. to move forward whatever what what's the catalyst for that and and again you know our home environment is mm -hmm. going to reflect that so if you want to step into something new then you know look at that area of your home and see what it's reflecting back to you and of course you know we can help you uh, make some changes to support that mm -hmm. right absolutely what i also like about the knowledge and self cultivation area is um the word associated with it is stillness mm. and i think sitting in the stillness sometimes is the best learning opportunity mm. Mm. because we are so bombarded with constant forms of information now yeah that we don't even know ourselves and i think you shared an absolutely beautiful um i don't know if it would be a poem or a limerick or just a paragraph uh, about our body with our mm -hmm. 21 day decluttering challenge group mm -hmm. and i thought wow this is absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know if it's shareable or not to put in the comments here for everybody that's watching, but it is it. I read it this morning and then I read it again and mm -hmm. then I read it again. And I thought, man, what a valid point. We take our, our physical structure, our bodies for granted. Yeah. And we don't spend the time to sit in the stillness and listen to it, what it needs, what it's asking for and appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So I and thought you know, that was really nice. Uh, and, you know, talking about the 21 day decluttering challenge too, uh, when you're talking about stillness mm -hmm. in order, we all have our inner compass. We're all connected to all the information um, that has, you know, that is, was, and ever will be. Yeah. <laughs> we truly are connected to that source information. And, it's uh, about going into stillness to be able to receive that information from your intuition or your um, from Guidance. God or yeah. you know whoever you creator whatever, whatever word you creator use. yeah whatever word you use mm -hmm. for that higher being and again when our home is cluttered when we have so much going on in our outer environment it's uh, constantly bombarding our senses and we we it's really hard to just shh, to get into the stillness and listen to our intuition mm -hmm. uh, so again another great reason to practice feng shui Absolutely. another great reason to join the 21 day decluttering challenge and and you know it's been really uh, it's been just a, an amazing growth. It's been growth for, for you and I, it's oh, been gosh, growth yes. for everybody, everybody that's participating. Totally. Uh, and I'm really excited to be, you know, being able to offer that again mm -hmm. and again and again, because yep. it's, it really is going to, the ripple of it, it's just going to be so amazing. phenomenal. It already yeah. has started. It's mm -hmm. um, so like last weekend, me getting at those drawers in the garage. And if you mm -hmm. don't know what I'm talking about on my own page, I posted a video yeah. of what I was going to work on that. And when my husband comes home from work, it's like, okay, you're right. Let's get at this. Right. Yeah. So then he got involved with it. And the easiest way to get support is just to start to do it because that ripple effect like anita was just saying takes off um mm -hmm. one of our other participants started and her daughter got into it and now her husband's getting into it and now all of a sudden there's rooms getting painted and they're excited about yeah. going through their stuff right so yeah. it's it's pretty cool it is very cool very love the cool. ripple love the ripple effects of all mm -hmm. of that <laughs> so let's talk about the numerology for a second because we touched on it real briefly mm -hmm. do yeah. you want to split it up and touch on on each number individually or well, do yeah you let's touch let's, on the eight let's see what um well you know we've talked about eight before too but i mean i love i love that and again these are these are um when these numbers show up, mm -hmm. these are very synchronistic where they're symbols of what, um, you know, energy is maybe around us mm -hmm. that we can tap into. And, and so 
again, a lot of times people are fearful about stepping into change, yeah. right? But I think this is a beautiful combination of numbers because it's, it's saying that, you know, step into that number five, Power. step into that change yeah. with uh, maybe your stillness, with your quietness, mm -hmm. and just release all of that uh, fear, all of just let everything drop away. And there will be a catalyst then right the number three is the catalyst and it's the the, the trilogy if you could say mind body spirit mm -hmm. right so again there's that stillness that we're connecting to in the number three um and then that equals the number eight and and we know that number eight is prosperity it's about exchange of energy it's about uh infinity you know so yeah, how cool yeah. is that? Good morning, Jeanette. Nice oh, to have hi, you Jeanette. join us. Cool. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I And again, every number is going to repeat on here because yeah. there's only nine numbers we can talk That's right. about, right? Yeah. Um, and then drill them down to nine. I mean, there's master numbers, of course, that come up in there when we get some of the double and triple digits. But with the card deck, we're only going to ever get double digits. Yep. So, but yeah, I love the number, the more I learn about the numbers and, and quite often you guys will see me and it's because I'm referring to uh, my friend, Marilyn Harper and Joy Roby's book, um, double, Di double digitology, mm -hmm. um, Marilyn channels Adiranda being from the 17th dimension. And this book is based on the shapes of the numbers. So there's different versions of numerology, like the Pythagorean num version, and Anita refers to that quite often. Mm -hmm. um, Adiranda talks more about the shape of the numbers, right? And when you talk about the three and the trilogy, um, it has that rolling bottom, right, is what she says. So it can move to something or back from something quite easily and quite quickly. Mm -hmm. So it's talking about that change to a degree in the number three as well. Yeah which is very cool. Um, and same with the number eight, you got that rocky bottom, right? Mm -hmm. and, and again, the you three know, combined, um, when you think about the eight, yeah, it's threes, two threes that are combined. Yep. And it's also, um, you know, when the, uh, the new yin yang symbol that I um, did in my book, mm -hmm. I have the number eight in the center of the yin yang symbol right? So again, it could be representative of balance of the, the masculine feminine energy that we know with yin yang. And if you think about how we break our day into those three parts of rest, work and play, mm -hmm. we talked about this with Tara the other day. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we really um, achieve harmony in all areas of our life is by recognizing that uh, we have to have balance mm -hmm. in there. So that number eight is showing us balance and it's showing us equality. Um, it's, it's really is showing us a lot of things. And so consider having eight hours a day of rest, mm -hmm. consider having eight hours a day of play consider having eight hours of day where you um, do your on purpose work, right? Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, then creating, the balance, creating that balance, creating, yeah, creating yeah. the balance, and then the prosperity. And, you know, then that infinity just keeps flowing, right? Exactly. It's just this beautiful exchange of energy. Yeah, I want to read on one going. sentence from from the book. Um, that I think is appropriate because we were talking about the knowledge and self-cultivation and sitting in the stillness. Yep. And what Adiranda says is it takes an enlightened person to understand that they can shift the energy between themselves and others by choosing how they wish to reflect the energy back. Mm. I like that. I do too. So, and I thought it quite important because mm -hmm. what she's talking about and quite often is, is uh, say we're having a struggle with something and we tend to react because of how we were brought up of our beliefs mm -hmm. by hitting it head on. Well, that's not changing what we're reacting to. Yeah. It's bringing more of it. Mm -hmm. So if we choose to be the change that we wish to see, 
Mm -hmm. Instead of hitting it head on, we could go, oh, well, I understand where you're coming from. And I yeah. appreciate that. Thank you for giving me a different perspective. Yeah, thank you for sharing. And I don't want to step into that energy. I choose my own bubble. Yeah. 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 And it can completely mm -hmm. shift. And that's what Adaronda is referring to. So we can engage mm -hmm. and help grow um, fear, um, disrespect, judgment, or mm -hmm. like Anita just said, we can choose to look at it or come at it from a completely different perspective. From love and compassion, mm -hmm. appreciation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. looking at the lessons in it already connectedness yeah it's 1020 mm -hmm. already like where does the time go I know it's just <laughs> it's just a beautiful thing yeah okay so we want uh we want everybody to check out our YouTube channel yeah. right? check out our <laughs> interview and look forward to having uh we've got some great other oh beautiful yeah souls lined up isn't that so, exciting? Yeah, we'll be we'll be posting a, a new candid conversation in our flock as we introduce you to the mm -hmm. people who are, you know, making a difference out there in the world. And again, it's uh, flowing love and activating whirling chi. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Or anything else you want that acronym to say. Or stand whatever else you want it to say. That's Feng right. Shui okay. with Anita and Cheryl. Yeah. You know? Funny ladies, Anita with <laughs> Cheryl. Uh, okay. Well, everybody have a great weekend. It's going to yeah. be beautiful out there. And uh, thanks for joining us and or listening to the replay. Like, share, you know, invite your friends Yay. to come and listen to the replay. For sure, for sure, for sure. And it's on here and it's also on the YouTube channel. Yes, it is. Yay. Yay. Cool. Okay. Bye, Namaste. everybody. Namaste. Bye for now.